In this video, we're doing a quick overview of our HA KVM Virtualization Tech Guide. This tech guide walks you through how to install all the components necessary to achieve a highly available KVM cluster made possible by components such as DRBD, Core Sync and Pacemaker, and of course, KVM and Libvirt. This tech guide targets RHEL 9 and walks you through a two-node cluster configuration in 10 brief chapters. We'll quickly run through the main steps to get up and running. First, register the nodes with Linbit and configure the repositories. Next, install DRBD, Pacemaker and Corusync, as well as KVM and Libvirt. Then, configure the backing storage, initialize DRBD for replication, and create a two-node pacemaker cluster. With the cluster initialized, a KVM guest domain can be created. Once the guest domain has been created, the configuration will need to be copied to the other node. The virtual machine's disk image is actually a DRBD virtual block device. This virtual block device is replicated in real time to each node in the cluster. Next, Pacemaker is configured to take control of both DRBD and KVM. Once Pacemaker has been fully configured and is in control, virtual domains can be started, stopped, migrated, as well as fail over between the nodes in the cluster. As you can see, using DRBD as the backing device for virtual disks is a simple solution to ensure availability of virtual machines in case of any node failures. All of this is made possible without the complexity or the expense involved with shared storage solutions. Instead, we're relying on DRBD's shared nothing storage to enable highly available virtual machines to fail over between the nodes. And all of this is possible on an entirely open source software stack. So if you're interested in grabbing this tech guide or need help with anything HA related, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Remember to check the video's description for links, and as always, thanks for watching.